Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to create a connection to a database using Oracle JDeveloper. The first thing we want to make sure we do is ensure that our Oracle service is up and running. The easiest way to do that is to go to your start right here, go to your control panel, and then we'll go to our administrative tools and then services. Now I'm going to scroll down. I've actually installed Oracle Database Express Edition. So here it is, Oracle Service XE, and you'll see that it's started. If it's not started, just go ahead and double click on it and click the Start button. The other thing you want to make sure to do is make sure that your listener is up and running because if you're using JDeveloper to tap into a database, uh, you are going to have the, the listener is going to be in charge of uh, connecting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and kill those windows. We know that's good. Now, the next thing you can do, you can just go to File New, and we're going to go to Connections. So here we can create a database connection. And I'm just going to call this HR. Con. My username is HR, my password is HR. We'll go ahead and save the password and the SID, the unique identifier is XE, and the database is sitting on my local machine. By default the port is 1521 so you can almost always leave that the same. We can click on test connection and it was a success. So now we hit OK. Now you'll notice there's application resources and IDE connections. The application resource is created just for a single application, whereas IDE is for uh, multiple applications to be shared. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and go to our view and then application navigator. And I already happen to have this application open. Here under application resources, we go to our connections. Here's our database connection we just created. And you can see all the objects that are in there. If I go down to tables right here, you'll see here are all of our different tables. We also have a really cool tool. If you go under tools right here and then database, you'll see the SQL worksheet. Here is my connection that I created. I just hit OK. And we now we have a graphical interface to work with here. Okay, so if we want to uh, perform any SQL statements in here, we can do that. And there we have it. There's our database connection. I hope you found this video tutorial very useful. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.